The coping saw consists of four main parts. The handle, the frame, the blade, and also two pins. The blade is made for steel because it's a strong material and also the teeth are facing back towards the handle. This means that the blade cuts in the back stroke when using it. There is many different reasons and principles for this which will be discussed throughout the video. The teeth are facing in the backwards motion because it cuts in the back stroke. This provides good tension as the blade is tightened from the handle. What am I saying? What am I doing? If the teeth were facing the opposite direction, the blade would begin to compress into each other because they're providing pressure in with the frame as the teeth would be facing the opposite direction. That's why the teeth are facing in the thing in the backwards motion back towards the handle as this is where it prevent, provides the tension. If the blade was facing the opposite direction, the frame would start to contract and push against each other, losing its tension in the blade. Why are the pins so important? The pins have to be in line with each other because this is what makes the blade straight. When the two pins are in line with each other, as shown in the video, this means that the blade is also straight. The pins have to be perfectly in line with each other all the times to ensure that when you're cutting, the blade is perfectly straight and not twisted or warped if the blade if the pins were off centered as you can see the pins can be adjusted around the 360 degrees of the frame here in the video you can see that it's important to keep ensure that the two pins are perfectly in line with each other as this creates a level blade ensuring that the whole blade is perfectly straight along the piece this ensures that the teeth are perfectly parallel to the frame. What happens if the pins are not in line? If you begin to twist the pins away from each other, the blade begins to warp and twist away from the frame, meaning that it won't be perfectly parallel to the frame to ensure a good, accurate, precise cut. As you can see, the teeth are twisted away from each other because the two pins are not perfectly in line. Looking down along the blade, you can see the twist along the blade as the two pins are not in line. This is why it's very important to ensure that when you're cutting, that the two pins are perfectly in line with each other and there's good tension along the blade. This is very important as if you don't do this principle and ensure this principle is involved in the tool, the blade could break when using it. When holding the coping saw, it's important that we use both hands for good control and accuracy. We hold it like a golfer holding a golf club, and also it can relate to the use of the tenon saw with the finger pointing out, which can relate to the pistol grip. This gives us a lot more control and accuracy over the whole tool, the blade and the frame. Because if we hold it in one hand, we don't have the same grip or control or precision when using the tool. This is why it's important to ensure that we have two hands firmly gripped on the handle and can have good control over the frame and the blade of the tool. This can be related to the control accuracy and precision of a golfer when they're using their golf club. This is very important when using the tool as precision and accuracy when using 
cup and saw, it's very important to create a good, nice, accurate, precise project. Why do we use a boxing stance when sawing? Boxing stance would be a wider stance where you have your feet further apart. This allows you to have more control and balance over your body. This is very important when using the tool. Stance can also be related to other sports where control, balance and accuracy is also very important. For instance, free taker in soccer, golfer, free taker in hurling and also a tennis player. Having good control and balance over your body can be very important for the health and safety aspect in the woodwork classroom. With the balance and control over the tool, it reduces the risk of stumbling with the tool in your hand. This comes down to the centre of gravity where you are spreading your body weight over a large surface area with your legs spread apart. Compared to having your feet closer together, having minimal control and balance. This allows for control over both the tool and the piece you are creating for a lot more precision and accuracy through your processing.